So my dear friends, nakita na ata natin yung isa sa pinakamaganda at saka pinaka-affordable na adventure touring coming from Honda and this is the Honda Transalp 750. Marami tayong pag-uusapan dito sa motosiklo na to. But before anything else, a massive shout out to Honda Big Bikes Venus Marketing. Palagi tayong nagbo-vlog sa company nila. Ito na nga nilabas na nila yung big bikes nila dito sa Maytagum City. Oh yeah. First of all, in terms of the design department, if you are going to take a look at the product itself, it's a beautifully done bike. And ito na ata ang pinakamurang product na made in Japan. If you are to consider buying a Honda and a Japanese brand in this kind of caliber, my dear friends, and sa harapan natin, ito po yung makukuha natin. It does look like a CB500X. A little bit of comparison, this is the Trans Alp 750, this is the 500X. So this is what we are getting if you are buying the Trans Alp Paros White. I think I would prefer this one rather than the black. And if you know me, I like black colors all the time. Same prices sila, 598 po. And it has a gold wheels, my dear friends. Still tube type. Wala pinagbago, only the color combination. And apparently, this is the only activated right now. So, this is the only thing that we can start up. In terms of the design itself, it has a blue seat rather than black. And I think so. Kung, kung papapiliin talaga ako, mas attractive para sa akin to. Upuan natin. If you're sitting down on the motorcycle, ganyan ka-visible ang makikita mo. Press the mode, lalabas siya. Riding modes niya, gravel, user, sport, standard, rain. Pwede natin ma-turn off ang ABS as you wish. So, when you press this one right here, ayan po lalabas, trip A, uh, some adjustne, adjustments, temperature on this one, uh, the RPM, the fuel consumption, the speed on this part right here. And, ayan know, gear indicator, my dear friends, very beautifully done bike. Ayan po ang kanyang pass switch dating sa handlebar this is what we are getting my dear friends uh, the switches very nicely done dipindot lang na ganyan I don't see anything here very simplistic pero it's on a primo side on this side on the other hand I like the idea of this part I know kapag magpa pass switch ka and also kapag maga high beam man diba the controls on this side as well my dear friends uh, I like it like I've never seen before and po bago sa akin paningin hazard light beautifully done turn signals beautifully done even the horn is close to your thumb or your finger so maabot mo talaga hindi mo na kailangan hanapin kapag bubusina ka lakas man quick modes are right here my dear friends very easy to access from your thumb and this is what I like about this beautiful bike right here and I uh, gotta be honest, I'm always critical at Honda bikes, lalal na sa mga malilit na scooters nila. Pero this part right here, affordability wise and ayun na, premium wise, maganda ang pagkakagawa. When it comes to the pass switch, ito po yung makukuha natin. Ayan, this is what you're getting. And sa likuran naman ng kanyang brake light, this is what we are getting. And hazard na rin my dear friends para makita nila harap at saka likuran. Ayan po, very beautifully done. And ayan no, Honda guy na ata to eh. <laughs> In terms of the performance, my dear friends, this motorcycle right here is a 755cc liquid cooled overhead cam, 4 stroke with 8 valve parallel twin and 270 degree crank and unicam. So, expect malutong ang kanyang tunog with the dual exit exhaust. Masarap tong pakinggan. And when you're starting this one up, because of the dual exit exhaust. Rev it. 
And ito yung masasabi mong pang tapat niya sa CP2 ni Yamaha. Ouch! It has a 67.5 kilowatts at 9,500 RPM. Almost 91 horsepower po siya with a 74.6 newton meters of torque at 7,250 RPM. And usapang tanke, it has a 16.9 liter gas tank capacity. Definitely pang long ride sana ang kanyang capacity pero it has a 23.5 km per liter. To be honest, it's not that bad. This will be an enjoyable ride kasi ang kanyang timbang 208 kilograms only. Usually, adventure bikes at this kind of displacements, mabibigat sila. Saka 855 mm seat height po siya. So para sa mga nangangarap and ang nanais nitong motosiklo na to, if you are 5'6 tall rider, let this be an inspiration. I have to mention as well the ground clearance Importante ito dito kasi it's an adventure bike, 212mm po siya. It's not that bad to be quite honest. And ang kanyang wheelbase, 1,561mm. It's a real stretched out motorcycle. And pagdating sa kanyang seat, I have to commend. Kapag adventure bike, dapat ganyan ka primo and also dapat ganyan ka kapal. Ayan po, malapad po siya na seat my dear friends. And massive shoutout nga pala dun sa nagsabi sa akin, seat matters my dear friends. And kung titignan natin, malapad po talaga siya, pang malaking tao. And also on this part right here, uh, maybe 5 foot 6 tall rider on a long ride, no problem. But anyone bigger than that, I don't think so. I love this finish right here. Nagko-complement siya sa pagiging matte black ng no motorsiklo. Ayan, no? It looks premium and sturdy to be quite honest. And it adds weight as well, my dear friends. So, kung hindi ka maglalagay ng top box mo, I believe so. Remove it if you wanted to. Wanna ride solo? It has a detachable pillion peg. So, pwede pwede din. And if you wanna see more on the design of the rear, ayun o, pag tinanggal mo kasi ito, ang linis tignan eh. Pero, that's just me not being an adventure bike rider. And kaya nga tayo bumibili ng adventure bike para makagala tayo in days kumbaga. Pupunta tayo sa brandings niya later on pero kung titignan nyo rin po ang kanyang foot controls, ang kanyang peg, nicely done, ang kanyang frame painted properly my dear friends. Ayan po. And ganito yung itsura niyang kanyang exhaust. The things that I might add on the design department, yung swing arm niya simplistic pero maganda po ang pagkakagawa. And as per advice of Sir Jean Mar, pwede mo siyang ma-upgrade ng quick shifter. Meron siyang inverted Showa Monoshock. Ang pangalan niya po SFF CAUSD 200mm travel po tayo dyan. Sa likuran naman Monoshock Damper Pro Link Swing Arm with a 190mm travel. Dual channel ABS po tayo my dear friends. It has a dual disc brake. 310mm po tayo dyan. Axial po siya. 2 piston caliper. Sa likuran naman single 256mm po wavy ang kanyang disc brake with a single piston caliper. Ang kanyang tires, it's tube type and 1990-21 po tayo sa harapan. Naka Dunlop Trail Max mixture po tayo when it comes to the branding. And sa likuran naman 150-70-18 so 21-18 tayo it has a fat tires pero napakalaki nitong bike na to kaya makukonsider mo talagang magpataba pa. Like I said a while ago my dear friends This is one of the most affordable adventure bike na mabibili mo since it's made in Japan. Ang kanyang down payment dito ay Venus Marketing Honda Flagship, 239,200 Philippine Pesos. And ang kanyang monthly, ayan po, 36 months, 18,139 Philippine Pesos po. So I think you should visit them here. Marami pa po silang uh, mga motor dito na pwede natin i-vlog. Affordability-wise, check. Riding capability, check. And approachability for beginner or for smaller rider, check. And isa sa maganda sa kanya, it does look primo on a price like that. Kasi usually kapag nakakakita tayo ng mga bikes na made in Japan and usually adventure 
mahal talaga sila but with this one it has technology and it has a promising performance and reliability so magugustuhan mo itong motorcycle na to so and my dear friends I'm not with my son right now so a massive shout out to my son he's a Christopher uh, uwi daddy mamaya uh, I need to attend this one and I need to attend this real quick so kapag sinama kita mukhang mahihirapan tayo but Exodus 14.14 14 to everyone keep on praying in front of the process and I'll see you in the next one